I'm Big Lou with Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I've got going on for you. I want to tell you about a thermometer that my wife and I got recently. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a review on my Thermopop, which I got actually about six months ago. I love this thing for barbecuing. I love this thing for cooking in the oven. I love this thing for all sorts of things. But here in our kitchen, we have one of those fancy smancy induction stoves where, you know, it works on the electromagnetic field and everything. And I showed you in that video, the link will be down below, how even though I love this Thermopop, uh, and it's other electronic uh, thermometers have done the same thing. Uh, now, I don't think all of them do, but this one does, and I like the Thermopop. But when you put it in that electromagnetic field from the induction stove, it kind of blanks out, all right? So this is a great thermometer. Love this thermometer, but we had to have a solution. So uh, we got the Chef Alarm. Now, I like yellow, but my wife wanted, or the goldish yellow color, but my wife wanted red, matches some other appliances in our kitchen. So we got the Chef Alarm, y'all. All right, I want to show you this chef alarm. This thing is really, really cool. All right, and I've used it for smoking uh, meats on my ugly drum smoker. Did that last week. And I tell you what, or the week before last, actually. And I tell you what, I really like this thing. It um, reads the temperature well, and it folds up so it'll sit on the counter like that. All right, it's got the uh, on-off and the calibration and the um, Fahrenheit, Celsius, or centigrade, when I grew up calling it, you know, um, what, whether you want it in American or foreign, all right? Fahrenheit, Celsius. And right here, you've got several buttons and it has a timer on it, all right? It has a timer on it and that's pretty cool because if you're timing something you're cooking, it comes in pretty handy. Unlike uh, other timers we have around our kitchen, the one attached to our stove or whatever, this one shows the seconds. So that's pretty cool and it's very accurate. So let me show you how it works and um, some things about it. And it solves my problem with the induction stove because it uses a probe port. All right, well, I mentioned it uses a probe port. What that means is that you can hook this remote probe up and I can measure things on the stove. My wife uses this for her praline making this actually the pot she uses for making pralines. And the uh, thermometer sits over here to the side, all right? The actual electronic unit, so it's not affected by the induction cooking of the stove because it's not the um, sensor down the bottom, but it's the electronics that was affected by it. All right, so I've got some water boiling. Now let me pan over here to the, uh, and I'll move the camera a little bit. And as you can see, 212, 211, 212. And we're close, pretty close to sea level, so um, that's reading 211.3. I may need to, uh, I haven't calibrated it, but looks pretty accurate within one degree right there, all right? So 211. Now, you can turn the light on, and you can see it much better. You see it has this uh, timer down at the bottom, all right, and uh, set the timer. You can set the minutes up to 60, and you can set the hours up to 99. I don't know why you need to time something for um, 99 hours, but the hours will go all the way up to 99, all right? And you can see the seconds constantly on it. And of course, the light stays on just for a few minutes, but you can turn it back on real easy. All right, um, you can see I've got a uh, set for like 225 right here, but if you wanna change the uh, setting on the uh, your low temp alarm, if you got it in the oven, or an, on your smoker, you want to set the a low temp alarm. You just, you can set the degrees for the lowest temp you want. And we'll turn the light back on so you can see it. And if you want to set the uh, high temp alarm, that blinks. Just move it. It's really intuitive. And then you just hit set temp and it's set. Timer's ticking down. Timer's going to be real accurate too. And that's reading around to 11 degrees. Guess I'm a little bit above sea level, but it's pretty close to 212. Anyway, I can set it at 212 because there's a calibration button on the back. All right, this is the Chef Alarm. We love it. It's got about a four-foot probe reach, and uh, it stays out of the way of the stove. My wife can make her candy and everything, and it, it just works out really well. We've had it about maybe a month now, and she loves it. I love it. The Chef Alarm from Thermoworks. And Big as uh, Columbo used to say, just one more thing, sir. It comes with this neat little carrying case. The probe folds up, just wipe it off, clean it off, rinse it off, whatever you need to do, depending on what you were cooking. It, you can wash it with dish soap and water, 
Don't put it in the dishwasher, I would imagine, but it rinses off real easy. It also works with the Thermal Works Smoke, which I have for barbecuing. And then the Chef Alarm goes right in here. By the way, there's a little temperature guide card. So if you forget um, what temperature is safe to cook whatever meat or whatever object you're cooking, there's a guide card right there that slides in there. The little pot clip slides right up here. Bingo, bango. And guess what? Need to store away. Solves the problem with um, electronic thermometers on our induction the stove, and we absolutely love our Thermalworks Chef Alarm. There'll be links below um, to Thermalworks products. You can get the Chef Alarm right there too. Big Lou Barbecue.